with thanksgiving. Our text is Psalm 29, verses 1 and 2. Returning with thanksgiving. Psalm 29, from verse 1, says, Give unto the Lord, O ye mighty. Give unto the Lord glory and what? Strength. That is, give it back to him. Yeah, you were able to conquer the war as a mighty warrior, but give the glory back to God. If not for God, your strength will fail you. If not for God, your instrument of war might not have worked. So he said, give unto the Lord, O ye mighty, give unto the Lord what? Glory and strength. What were you able to achieve? What were you able to accomplish? Give the glory unto the Lord. That's what the psalmist was trying to encourage us there. You know, he was a man of war. So he understood what he was writing. You mighty man of war. You that uh, you are so skilled in using weapons. You could kill thousands. But let me tell you, give the Lord what? The glory. Because but for the Lord, your weapons of war may fail you. But for the Lord, you may get to the battlefront and you develop sickness. And when you are sick, how do you handle the weapon? So he said, give unto the Lord, O ye mighty, give unto the Lord glory and strength. I don't know about you. I've seen singers, performers, they have rehearsed, they have practiced. On the day of their performance, their voice ceased. So we are how would they bring out all the output, all the input of rehearsal? Praise the name of the Lord. That's why the scripture says the horse is ready for the day of battle, but victory is of what? Of the Lord. No matter the preparation. In those days of attacks from my foundation, before I understood, in this school, I would have prepared. I would have prepared. I would have read. And once I go to the exam hall, the thing disappear. My brain will just, my mind will just become empty. My memory, even the ones I saw with people for people before I entered, I will see it like this, and the thing will just go, so that it is not of him that will it, not of him that run it, but of God that showed mercy. Praise God. And in addition, in verse two, it says, "Give unto the Lord." The glory due unto his name. And he says, Worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. Beloved, God is worthy to be praised. God is worthy to be what? To be praised. God is worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be exalted. Therefore, we should give him the glory that is due to him. Amen. He's worthy. He's worthy. Therefore, that glory that is due to him, we should not deny him. We should give it to him. And you ask, what glory is due to him? For diverse things that he's done. For you and me. For us. For your family. For your uh, loved ones. For our nation, Nigeria. For the nation of Africa. For the entire world. Let's give to him glory due to him. For the good things that he's done. You know that as we are still speaking now, and all of us, we are without mask. Some nations of Africa now, they are entering into phase three of COVID. In some other European countries and Asia, they are just opening Canada small, small now. Praise God. But here are we. Praise God. Shouldn't we give him the glory? Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody shout glory. Praise the name of the Lord. It could only have been God. How long was the lockdown last year? People were so perplexed. Noah and his um, family and the cattle and the any other animals were locked up in the ark for how many months? Five good months. Praise God. For a good purpose. The Lord we. Show us mercy in Jesus' name. Amen. So let's give him glory for diverse things that he has done for us. Let's continue to praise him. He said we should give him glory. 
We should praise him. Give him glory. And look at what Psalm 50 verse 23 says. When we, concerning the same issue, he said, Whosoever does what? Offer a praise glorifies me. To give him that glory, you offer him what? Praise. Offer him praise. Don't say I can't sing. You can eulogize him. You can praise him by just telling him, Lord, you are so good. You are so awesome. How great you are. How wonderful you are. If not for you, O oh Lord, where would I have been? If not for you, O oh Lord, like the Bible says, if not for the Lord, what would have Israel have said? When men rose up to swallow us. At times when we are asleep, you don't know what is happening. There are times they have shot some people in their sleep. Some believers. And they had, pow! <laughs> and the bullet entered. And they shouted. And they shouted to waking up. But they said, ah, thank God. Thank God, it's a dream. <laughs> you know, <laughs> the reason you could still say that is because the Lord kept you. Some people like that, they didn't wake up again. That was all. They shot them in the spirit realm. And they didn't wake up again. And people were wondering, they went to wake, wake them up in the morning. Wake up, wake up. <laughs> Nothing happened. She slept soundly. She went to bed by herself. She was here and handy. They were gone. But you, you woke up from it. And he said, thank God, it's a dream. And you say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. I'm saying, <laughs> Praise God. Some people left from there. Some people were strangulated in their dream. So we should thank him. We should give him the glory due to what? Due to him. For everything, someone say everything. everything. That the Lord does. No matter how little it appears in our eyes. Let us thank him. Let us give him the glory due to him. So I appreciate all those who normally come out to testify. To glorify God. You may not know. That little gesture, little in quotes, goes a long way to gladden the heart of God. Let me ask us, let's be truthful to ourselves. No matter how humble you are, if you do somebody a favor, or you do somebody good, and the person comes back to say thank you, how do you feel? You feel good from within you. You feel happy. Even if you are not expecting a thank you, from your heart you are gladdened. Ah, this person is appreciative. The same thing with our God. Because he made us in his image and likeness. So when we come back to say, thank you, Lord. He is glad. He is happy. He don't say he is God. He doesn't mind. No. He has feeling. We are made. Jesus Christ said, Philip, have you seen me and you are still asking for the Father? If you have seen me, you have seen the Father. Exactly how I operate is how the Father operates. The Father appreciates thanksgiving. He appreciates that we return to give him the glory. Praise the name of the Lord. Because not all had that privilege that you had. Not all had the opportunity that you had. You had the opportunity, you were able to take advantage of it. Not all who had it were able to take advantage of it. But thank God. So for that little thing in quote, always come back return to him to give him the glory that lord bought for you bought for you bought for you where would i have been but for you probably i shouldn't be living but for you i wouldn't have been here praise the name of the lord so the act of testifying coming to say thank you is not by any means small don't belittle it have proper understanding Amen. Amen. Returning to thank him is a demonstration of what heart of gratitude that we appreciate. That we appreciate. Amen. Amen. It's a demonstration of one's um, appreciative heart of what God has done. And it goes a long way to make the doer or the giver happy. It also spurs that person to do what? To want to do more. If you gave out something to three people and you still have excess, 
Maybe you had five. You had given down three. You still had two. And you feel like giving all out. And you are still in your house. And one of the three came back to say, thank you. What do you do naturally? You say, ah, well, I still have more. You see, you see what? Take. That is how it is naturally. Naturally. And that is how it is with our God, our maker. That person is called to do more. The same is applicable to our God. We need to know how to order our conversation aright. How to do, how to move, how to di discuss with God, how to relate with him. And uh, we're told that he that offered in that um, Psalm 50 verse 23, say, whosoever offered praise glorified me, and to him that does what? Order his conversation aright. I will do what? I will show salvation. You know how to relate. I will show you more gratitude. You must know how to relate. This goes for us even in human relation. Somebody does things for you, you don't even care. Say, after all, he did it for God. <laughs> Praise God. It is true. He did it for God. But there are very many people that he could have done it to in the name of God. Isn't it? So if you are privileged, you should appreciate. The same for our God. We have the example of the disciples of Christ in Luke 10, 17 to 20. Luke 10, 17 to 20. They had the privilege of being commissioned um, to go. When you read from the beginning, he appointed uh, 70 and said, go and preach the word. Go and minister. Go out for evangelism. They went for what we call an outreach from city to city, from house to house. And from verse 17, we read that the 70 did what? Return again. They return with what? Joy. The Lord will cause to return with joy. Yes. Saying what? Even the devils are subject unto us through, through what? Thy name. They came they returned with thanksgiving. They were happy. They said, Master, we thank you for sending us out. In fact, we enjoyed ourselves. We saw demons. They trembled. They were so happy with their encounter. And they came to say what? To say thank you to the master. And look at the master's response. And he said unto them, I beheld what? Satan as lightning fall from heaven. And look at verse 19. What that gesture brought for them. And he said, Behold, I give unto you what? Power to tread upon serpent and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by what enemies hurt you. Amen. Because they came back, they returned with joy, with thanksgiving. They said, Thank you, Master, for the opportunity that you gave to us. In fact, we were surprised by what we saw. And because of their returning, he released unto them greater power. They were with power initially. But when they came back, he increased the impartation of power. He increased it. When you come, when you return with thanksgiving, you get more from the giver. When you return with thanksgiving to God, you get more from God. That is the truth. That's the truth. And the second confirmation is from the story of the lepers in Luke 17, 11 to 19. Luke 17, 11 to 19. You are very familiar with it. Ten lepers were healed by Jesus. Ten of them spoke to him from afar. Jesus, master, have mercy on us. And he said, go show yourself to the priests. And on their way, ten of them were cleansed. Ten. He also saw that you are cleansed. And I, I could imagine. Say, ah, uh, leper, leper one. <laughs> say, ah, I am cleansed. So he looked at leper two. Leper three. Ah, ah, you won't call. Ah, all of them. Hey, this is wonderful. Okay. They all went to their different houses. Only one returned. Look at what Jesus Christ said. Let's read from... Um, Verse 15. 
Okay, let's take it from 14. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go show yourself unto who? Unto the priest. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back. And with a loud voice. Wow. With which type of voice? Loud voice. It was not hidden. When we get to glorify God this morning, I will see how you glorify with a loud voice. When I tell some of you that when you are passing to thank him, dance. You will just walk like, uh, like that. Dance. Glorify him with a loud voice. Amen. With a loud voice. Glorify God. And he didn't do it in the secret. He came publicly again to our Lord Jesus Christ. In verse 16. And fell down on his face at his feet giving him what thanks and he was what a samaritan he was a stranger he was a stranger not even a jew a stranger amen with a loud voice i trust god that you will come like that samaritan but look at what jesus christ said because i told us the same way we feel as human the same way god feels and verse 17, and Jesus answering said what? Were there not ten cleansed? But where are what? The nine. They are not found that return to give glory to God. Save this what? Stranger. Jesus was surprised. Out of ten. Wow. Some people will say they are, you know, when the challenge is still there, you are not ashamed of God. You are not shy. You can pray. You can tear yourself apart before people. They can hear your voice at Allen Roundabout. But when the Lord has done it, I'm shy. I can't come out. Pastor, let me just tell you alone. Let me just tell you alone. You know I'm very shy. You are not shy at that time. Oh. <laughs> the Lord will have mercy on us. Pastor, let me write it on paper. You help me to read it. That was not the Samaritan. Publicly, he came out and prostrated before the law glorifying him and look at what happened in verse 19 and jesus christ said unto him arise go thy way thy faith hath made thee whole and we observe from the bible there's a difference between being healed and being whole the lord increased his touch the lord brought perfection to his healing so when you come back to say thank you when you return to give thanks, you get more from him, from the Lord. Amen. So, beloved, always return to give thanks. For a safe journey every day. You set out in the morning, you come back. It's not only in the church, even at home. As you come in, haven't gone out in the morning, come in and say, Father, I thank you for journey mercy today. For a safe day. For a wonderful day at work, at my business place, always come back and thank him. Our fathers in the Lord in those days, once they come, they have private altar. They put down their bag, they go there, they use their head to touch the ground. And say, Lord, thank you. It may not be more than one minute, and they will stand and go back. They will return the glory to God. Amen. Always. Whether you are a mother or a father, don't come in, throw your bag run into the kitchen first of all go and give him back what the glory for that day for journey mercy that same route that you passed some other people passed through and it was difficult for them for major journeys that you go you travel outside lagos and all that always come to return what the glory back to him for keeping you for successful execution of one business or the other always come back what to return the glory to him for very many visitations blessings you passed an exam somebody else some other people prepared more than you did and they didn't pass some other people are more intelligent and they didn't pass it didn't just go down well with them on that day praise god for your business whether you sold wonderfully on that day or the sale was not much give him the glory is going to increase it the following day because the little you appreciated him for will make him to do more don't say ah, what type of day is this so dry eh? just be hissing 
and hissing. And you transfer the aggression to everybody at home. Everybody that missed you on that day, they are in trouble. Because you did not say, <laughs> you know, have mercy on us. In the name of Jesus. So let's thank him. Let's thank him for her birthday anniversary. He has preserved you. Wedding anniversary. And very many things that the Lord has done for us. For a successful month. And for diverse visitations. Today, as a church, apart from other things, we'll be thanking him for successfully helping us to host 30 Hours with God 2021. We will all return the glory to him. Are you ready to return to thank him today? Let's rise to our feet. Say, Father, I will not owe you. I will return the glory that is due to you. I will return the glory due to you. I will come back, Lord, to give you glory that is due to you. Tell the Lord, Lord, where I am owing you, forgive me. Forgive me for not always coming back to return the glory to you. Say, Lord, help me never to forget. Help me to be appreciative. You fly here and there. Have you been appreciative? You are, you are earning salary every month. Some people are working. They couldn't pay them salary. Some people don't have jobs that you have. Thank him. Thank him. Say, Lord, help me to be grateful. Help me to have a grateful heart. Help me to return with thanksgiving. Always. Help me to return with thanksgiving. Always. Lord, help me. Help me, my father. To return with thanksgiving always. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. Help me. Forgive me for not being grateful as I should. Forgive me, Father. From today, Lord, by your grace and mercy, I will always return with thanksgiving. Thank you, our Father. Oh, Grateful hearts, 
with songs of praise, with outstretched hand, we say thank you, Lord. Accept our thanksgiving for great things you have done. And as we go into the thanksgiving session, Lord, give us a heart to praise you. Help us to order our conversation aright. Help us not to keep your glory with ourselves. Help us to give you the glory that is due to you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. God bless you. With round of applause. Let's take a I am you. 